Hello, um, welcome to Splat Space. My name is Jeffrey Cruz. I'm one of the long-term members and uh, so much has been going on here lately that I thought we would do another video walkthrough to show the changes to the space and bring everybody up to speed on what's been going on. So this is our main space. And as you come in, we have things much the way they've always been, except over here we um, have this um, wall mount kiosk, which was recently donated to us, and we've uh, hacked the uh, th HP Thin Client in there, so it actually functions as a, a computer, and it's just going to host a uh, small web page with both local and, of course, links to the internet. So all of our internet content will be on there, but also some local things like project help requests. It's got a, a touch screen, and so it'll essentially replace this board down here that no one ever looked at anyway, and it will be a lot more interactive and capable of that. So that's a couple more weeks, I think, we got to have that one done. Um, we recently put up the pirate box, which uh, we actually hacked together whew, a year and a half ago, I guess, um, for a uh, visit from Cory Doctorow to a local, to a local bookstore, and uh, we were running that during his talk, and he signed it for us. We are, have been invited to bring it to Maker Faire next week, and so we got to pimp it out and put this new light bar in it. And then it will be accompanying us to this year's North Carolina Maker Fair. Um, we have a new video game cabinet. We acquired the cabinet and the display as a donation. And then one of our um, members uh, created the main cabinet from it. We've got so we have not mounted the speaker grill yet. But that's coming. We have, an, of course, uh, a 3D printer here, which we have nicknamed Gloria which is in pretty much constant use. It's a uh, Lulzbot Mendel Max, and has uh, been used extensively ever since we got it, of course. Over here, we recently started our um, lock picking days. We have, we've had a few small events, and we're gearing up to hold a larger public meetup.com event. Uh, these, of course, are varying numbers of pen tumbler locks, and our box of lock picks and lock tools, which you actually have to be able to defeat this really, really terrible master lock to get into it. So when people want to learn how to lock pick, I say, well, I'm going to teach you to get past this really bad one, and then you can get all the good tools. This is our former printer um, named Baby Blue, which is, of course is an old cupcake, years old now. And uh, it has not been getting much love since we got Gloria, but Gloria gets so much use that we are upgrading this. Looking, uh, probably going to put a Wade's extruder in it, possibly a Z-Rider so we can grow the build area and get it back into service for smaller parts to say, take some of the strain off the main printer. Um, you saw the kiosk by the front door. That was actually part of a large donation of three of these touchscreen kiosks, two freestanding ones, and then the one uh, wall mount that we're turning into our bulletin board. We have been talking to the library the Durham County Library, possibly about turning these into sort of a freestanding host for local art, local literature, maybe um, uh, team produced scratch and processing games. That, that is something that is coming up, but we're not real sure about that yet. We have two of these freestanding ones, and we are definitely going to do something cool with them. Uh, this, of course, is the Raspberry Pi game, game cabinet. Back here is our boneyard, as always, of all, all parts we have. Um, this is a donated TV, which um, we are preparing to use as, in, in lieu of our projector for meetings, for putting up the minutes and links and so forth. Um, this, in this area, one uh, member is uh, taking our CNC mill, which we got last year, and he is working out some problems with the CNC portion. So, the uh, CNC drivers and the, uh, I believe he's using EMC2 on here, there are some problems with them. So he's just chasing it down. So currently the mill in the annex where we're going to do is a, is a manual mill. And then of course over here is the electronics workbench area and the electronics cabinets full of parts and things to take apart. So that, except for of course for all the chairs, and the tables where people spread out and do their projects and where we do our meetings, that's pretty much it for this room. Now we're gonna go down the hall to the fabrication annex, which is our new addition. 
All right, so we are outside the, what I call the fabrication annex to Splat Space. We acquired this extra room when we renewed the needy lease, like last November or so. So one of the first things, of course, I did was I had to make this retro futurist sign for it. But this is the former conference room. This is where we have moved all of our dirty and or loud um, objects. So uh, we moved in, we uh, just put blackboard down one wall. We've got our sewing area over here, which is actually going to move back to the other room because it is too dusty in here for the sewing machines. Um, screen printing supplies and uh, e-textiles and textile um, supplies under there. We have some basic equipment around, like a chop saw. We have the circular saw that we drag out when we need to use it. Uh, sheet bending brake. Some benches, bench grinder. Bandsaw, drill press, a uh, extremely heavy banging table, and more generalized work table in the center. Um, over here we have the mill, formerly CNC mill, which uh, I showed you in the other room. One of our members is working on the CNC system now. The metal lathe, on the other hand, is up and running, works fine. And um, that same member also went and printed out these, these pretty awesome tool holders to help get the space organized. Over here we have the wood lathe. Um, repair in progress. I'll find out what's up with that. And what else we got? You know, shop, shop back. We have our two pegboards, our hand tools. We have a stock of wood out here, which is usually stored inside this room. We just kind of dragged it all out to help organize it. But this little blind closet is usually used for our stock storage. Uh, a couple of scroll saws. And of course, various tool toolboxes, either private or for public use. So this is the fabrication annex, and we um, we get a lot more done now that we have this space. So uh, especially since we don't have to annoy or spray wood chips and stuff all over everyone else working in the main space, which is now desig designated as our coding, printing, electronics, and lecture cleaning space. So that's all. Those are our two rooms, and uh, I think I'm pretty well brought you up to speed.